Hi, friends. Matthew Dowling here from Strengthened by Grace Ministries. There's a famous quote by Charles Spurgeon, the great uh, prince of preachers from 19th century England. And he said, visit many good books, but live in the Bible. <laughs> you know, that's true. I, you can see from the video around a lot of books here. Um, this is my home study. You can't see what's behind the camera, but there are a whole room of books and uh, bookshelves. Lots of books around here. My reading uh, table, just uh, right here to my right, uh, has about 30 books on it. Those are the books that I've determined that I want to read. So I'm a book guy. But when it really comes down to it, there's only one book that we live in, like our home, and uh, all other books we go to visit, like a vacation. And of course, that book is the, the book of books. This is where we live in the Holy uh, Scripture in the Bible. And um, I want to make a case in this video for why you should read the Bible more than any other book. And that goes without saying, probably if you're a Christian, but if we were really honest, we don't always do that, do we? We don't live in the Bible and visit books uh, and spend most of our time in the Bible. Usually it's quite the off, uh, opposite uh, of that. And so I need to make a case to you why you need to live in this one book and visit others um, from time to time. And really to do that, I need to answer the question, why is it so important to live in the Bible? Why study the Bible? I mean, why is God's word so important? And the very simple answer is it's because it contains God's mind and his will for your life. Second Timothy chapter three, verse 16 and 17 says, all scripture is inspired by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be adequate and equipped for every good work. The Bible, we need to live in it because it's the only source of absolute divine authority for us as servants of Jesus Christ. And God's word is so important because uh, of a number of reasons. Firstly, because it's infallible in its totality. Psalm 19, 7 says, The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. So it's without error. It's without any flaws. We also know, secondly, it's important because it's inerrant in its parts. Psalm, or excuse me, Proverbs 30, verses 5 and 6 says, Every word of God is pure. He is a shield to those who put their trust in him. Do not add to his words, lest he rebuke you and you be found a liar. Well, the third reason God's word is so important is it's complete. Listen to these words from Revelation 22, verses 18 and 19. It says, For I testify to everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book, if anyone adds to these things, God will add to him the plagues that are written in this book. And if anyone takes away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part from the book of life, from the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. So the scriptures are complete, all 66 books, 39 in the Old Testament, 27 in the New. They are complete. And then uh, fourthly, Another reason God's word is so important is it is authoritative. It, it is final. We have God's final word to us. Psalm 119 verse 89 says, Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in the heavens. And then uh, fifthly, God's word is important because it's totally sufficient for your needs. Remember what Paul said in 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. And then number six, God's word is important because it will accomplish what it promises. Uh, Isaiah 55, 11 says this, my word that goes forth from my mouth, it shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. And so if you sow God's word into your life, I believe that it's going to do its intended work. Uh, for you in the study of it, day by day, diligently, God is going to carve out uh, and make known his will to your life. And he's going to carve you by it so that your life uh, will have its every needs met. And then number seven uh, uh, is 
Uh, God's word is important because it provides the assurance of our salvation. Uh, Jesus said in John 8, verse 47, He who is of God hears the words of God. For this reason you do not hear them because you are not of God. Uh, Jesus was speaking to some uh, false teachers there. Uh, but um, he who is of God hears God's word. It gives us an assurance that we are saved. And again, John chapter 20, verse 31, these have been written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. So it's important to study the Bible. It's infallible. It's inerrant. It's complete. It's authoritative. It's totally sufficient for our needs. It accomplishes what it will promise, uh, what it promises us, and it provides the assurance of our salvation. And so what that means for you, dear friend, is you need to uh, be a reader. Being a reader is a great thing. I'm a reader. I love reading. But you need to visit other books, but you need to live in the Bible, as Brother Spurgeon said. And uh, that's a good way to think about how to balance your time between books and Bible. Bible always needs to be the most important book in your life, the book in which you live day after day. And after your study of it, after your meditation on it, after you've done your good work in the Bible, then you can branch out and you can go check out other books. But we live in the Bible, don't we? All right, that's enough for today. God is so good all the time and all the time God is good. And may God strengthen you by his grace today. Until next time, dear friends, God bless you.